welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is a spend the week with us vlog. Um, I was going to film it quite literally Monday to Sunday, but in all honesty, Monday is the day that I dedicate to clean the house. Um, and I just make sure that I sort of take Monday every week to do that. Otherwise, I don't end up doing it and I get overwhelmed that the house is dirty. Also, I've got a Bing plaster on my thumb because I cut my thumb whilst doing the dishes this morning. Um, I cut my thumb on a butter knife. Like, a knife that you normally use to just eat your dinner with. It wasn't like a carving knife or something, you know, something noble. I cut myself on a butter knife. After Laura's nap, we are gonna go to my friend George's house to get my nails done. She does my biab for me. And I'm gonna get some Valentine's nails. So I'll take you guys along with me. These are the nails at the moment. I feel like when you get almond, almond, whatever you want to say, um, they start to look shit quite quickly. Um, I think it's just down to like the shape of them and potentially the colour as well because I've got like a milky white and it obviously gets quite dirty. But this is my outfit of the day. I've got on these jeans that I got from Bershka, which you would have seen in my last vlog if you watched it. Um, and this top is actually also from Bershka, but I didn't get this... <laughs> In my shopping trip i ordered it online and it has like matching flared leggings to it which is so nice um and i really think i might just put my hair up because it's annoying me of course um i think i'm gonna have to put my hair up okay so the hair is slicked i'm feeling a bit better now but the annoying thing about my hair at the moment well there's lots of annoying things about it right now my roots for one which is why i keep slicking my hair back so that you can't tell i've got really bad roots at the moment my layers are growing out all weird um and you know when your hair is like at the wrong length for a slick back bun and you have like bits shooting out everywhere i just feel like my hair at the moment is not giving so i really 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 need to book another hair and a hair and appointment <laughs> i really really need to book another hair appointment and i definitely want to go a bit lighter i might go lighter with balayage though i haven't had balayage in quite a while i've been just getting like a block color um and i used to always have balayage and absolutely love it so instead of like going lighter as a block color i might just get some balayage highlights put through my hair to make my hair appear lighter if that makes sense i'm doing what i do best and i'm waffling so let me get laura ready and i'll show you her cute little outfit <laughs> what are you doing look we're well, gonna brush your hair quickly <laughs> Done hair. All done hair. Look at your beautiful hair. Are you so beautiful? Can you say good morning? Can you blow a kiss? Can you say Alora? <laughs> my name is Mummy. Say hey queen. Hey queen. You look beautiful. <laughs> look at her. Hey. Touch it. Nice. Also, does anyone else have a cupboard in their house that's literally like a disaster waiting to happen? This literally is like Tetris. There's like five water bottles just stacked up on one another. One thing about sourdough, it actually hurts my mouth. Like, it's so crunchy. We're just about to go to my nails. Alora, this little queen, insisted she wore these glasses and bag. Otherwise, we were not going, apparently. Say hi, queen. Hi, queen. Hi, 
Also, Dre and I secured Bryson tickets for the 16th of April. So, we're so gassed about that. She's, Laura's hopefully gonna go to my mum for the night because she said she'd have her for Chris Brown's concert. So, mum, if you're watching this, thanks for looking after Laura in April. That ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on some drives with her. So, we've just got back from my nails and these are the settings. I feel like my fingers are so horrible and skinny, but the nails look cute. Alora's breakfast looks so cute this morning. I put it in her new little bowl. So she's having some eggs, some bacon, raspberries, and then some grapes. Is it yummy? So anyways, on this rainy morning, Alora and I don't really have any plans today. We're gonna go to M&S. One of my fave shops, of course. Um, that's spray for your pillow. <laughs> We've got Dre's sister coming over Friday and then my dad and my stepmom are coming over Sunday. So I do need to pick up a couple of bits for dinners and snacks and that for then. And it just gives us something to do. It gets us out the house. Like one of my New Year's resolutions was to just get out the house more with Alora, even if it means going to M&S or I don't know, looking around the shops, like it's just a bit of a <laughs> It's just a bit of a change of scenery. Bumblebee. Is that fun? That's so funny. Throw it. Catch it. Oh. Are you okay? Let me kiss it better. Mwah. Oh, it's that one, okay. Oh, yeah. I might put her in this Zara set that she hasn't worn yet. It's like flares with a, a little top like that. But it's so annoying with the Zara sizes at the moment, it doesn't say like um, 12 to 18 months, 18 to 24 months like it did before. It literally just says, I don't know if you can see that, it literally just says one and a half. And then it's got like two, three, four. And I hate it when companies do that. It says like one year or two years. Is that like six months to one year? Is that one to two years, two to three years? Like, I don't understand. Please just put the right ages on the clothes, please. Three. What flowers should we get? What color do you want? Red. I don't normally like green grapes, but we're gonna try the cotton candy grapes. Alora wants to try them now. So we are back from m and so I'm gonna show you the interesting things that I bought. The boring stuff is all in the fridge. Um, we got some fruit, veg, and some meat for Sunday dinner as well. So I got some flowers. These were only six pounds, and they had some that were slightly similar to this that were 15 pounds, so I don't really get that, but and ladies, if you want flowers, you have to buy them yourself, you know, so I bought myself some flowers. It's pancake day soon, I don't know when, but I bought some pancakes. And I also bought this hazelnut cream spread thing. Um, apparently it tastes like Kinder Bueno, I've been meaning to try it for ages, so I finally got that to try with the pancakes. Mm. If you know about M&S Yum Nuts, they're like donuts but yum yum. So I got Dre the plain one, he has the glazed, and I get the one with sprinkles, it's glazed all over, and then sprinkles on top. I got some more of these heart waffles, I picked up a pack of these in last week's shop, and I had them with clotted cream and raspberries, and it was unreal. I had that for my breakfast, so obviously I got some clotted cream as well from M&S. Whilst we're on the clotted cream subject, these clotted cream rice puddings are the best rice puddings I've ever, ever, ever had. They are so good. And I know rice pudding is quite like a, you either love it or you hate it, because the thought of it is just a bit disgusting. And I'll be so real, like, it is a bit disgusting when you think about it. But it's so good. Sweet rice, who knew it could be so good? I got this, um, like, Dick of cookie dough because Dre and I tried to find this in the one that was local to us and we couldn't find it but the other one had it so he's going to be happy that I managed to find that. He loves a cookie, our Dre. 
today Alora and I are going to go to the garden centre. Of course she's got her bag and glasses on because she still insists she wears them. Say hello. Hello. Say I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. Even with a bogey. But yeah, there's like a jelly cat section, books, toys and stuff. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to put her in the buggy. I'm just going to no. let her have a little Let's walk go. around. Yeah, should we go? Say yes, please. Me. Okay, darling. I think she wants to show off her new bag and glasses. So I will stop the talking and let's go. So we've just arrived and it's literally been pissing it down the whole time. Like when we left the house, it was crazy weather so this is actually commitment this is dedication to getting my daughter out of the house more i have come out in pretty much a hurricane i've done this for you oh you want to put it back on there you go <laughs> look happy birthday to you oh what about strawberry strawberry just a girl picking out her next jelly cat. I actually love all these little animals in here because they're quite cheap, like they're only like $7.99 and she's got a pig already, that's like one of them. Yeah. So I might just get her one of them. Yeah. Wheels, yeah! Look, they're matching crates as well. Wow, what have you found? Do you want to sit down we can read it? Like monkey? Okay, I think she's scared of it now because it's making a noise. <laughs> but look, they've got a cute little egg here. We've got bumblebee, some watermelon. Oh look, she might like these. Strawberry, tomato, or an apple. Is that a tomato or an apple? Tomato, I think. They've got all the Valentine's jelly cats out as well. They've got this little love bug. This lock and key, a ring. I really like this one, but it's £25, so I can't justify it for Laura. And they've got these ones. I've never seen these before. These are like the, the, the cat that's on the label of the jelly cats. Look at the cat. See, even that. That's £28 for this. Seriously? Can you point to Bluey? Good girl. Can you point to Bingo? Good girl. Let me give you a quick little haul before we go back home. Um, I had to get Alora some sweets because she was demanding them, so I thought I'd get some of these. We didn't get her a jelly cat or a book in the end. She wanted this, which is like a little wooden flower set. I um, can't remember how much it was. I think it was about £15. So we got that instead of a cuddly toy or a book. I got her some bubbles. She doesn't know they're bubbles yet because she'll literally want me to open them now. But I got her some of them because we have run out of bubbles at home um i got this pen you lot are literally gonna be like why the fuck did you get that but <laughs> i have a diary that i obviously just write like all my plans in um and i have like a few of these pens from haskins because they're just so cute so i thought i would just get this unicorn one this is a pink one okay so we've just got home i've just had to get Alora changed into a white vest and some jeans because i'm gonna update her photos on her model card for south coast kids that's the agency that she's with um so right now she's looking like this she's got her levi's on um and i'm running a bath because before her nap i'm gonna wash her hair because they like the pictures with her hair natural no product in <laughs> and one like with her hair just loosely tied as it is so i'm going to take those pictures now then i'm going to wash her hair and let it dry um ready to take the pictures after her nap of her natural hair how beautiful <laughs> i've just had my sephora parcel come through the door so i'm going to show you what i got i've been sent this perfume from the perfume shop this is the north Narciss Narciso Rodriguez perfume for her and this is musk nude and it smells like a florally sort of fresh smell this is so nice and um, they sent me the 100ml bottle so thank you perfume shop now let me show you what I've got in here so I just got two lip masks to top up my drawer I've got like a drawer full of face mask eye mask lip mask 
feet mask, hand mask, everything. Um, just in case I fancy a pamper, I've got it all there. I got the Whey hand lotion. Now, please don't ask me why I spent my money on this because obviously Whey is a bit of a pricier brand. Um, but I never ever put hand cream on and I thought I actually need to start because no one wants dry hands. Not as though my hands are dry, but I just feel like I'm in my self-care era and I literally need to take care of every single inch of my body. So I was gonna put this on my bedside table. I actually did see a TikTok that inspired me of this girl who had this on her bedside table with a candle, like on a little tray, and it actually looked really cute. So I got that. This I've been waiting for so long. This is the Refi like dual-ended brush. The brush looks like this, you've probably all seen it. It's got like a flatter, more dense brush on this end and then more of a fluffy brush on this end. Got this Huda Beauty powder. This is the Baby Bake in the shade Peach Pie. Um, I'm not sure if this is new or not, but pretty much as the name says, it's like a peach bake, a peach powder. Um, so I thought I'd try that because it looks really nice. I actually bought Lady Gaga's foundation. I didn't even know Lady Gaga had a foundation, a foundation, but I was watching one of Molly Mae's vlogs from when she went to New York and her makeup artist put this on her and she said it was so nice. So I just got the same shade that she was wearing and this is the shade 260 light medium cool and then I got a little free gift which is one of these Sol de Janeiro sprays this is in the shade pistachio and salty caramel so I don't actually know how I feel about that oh I mean <laughs> I definitely get the hype of this this is unreal and it doesn't smell like pistachio or salty caramel it just smells like tropical kind of fresh ready ready Wow. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you cooking? Are you cutting up the cakes? Wow. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Laura has two shoes on her hands, of course. Honestly, I've got like a pile of vintage stuff in the corner that I'm waiting to upload and Alora just finds herself in the pile every single day. On today's agenda, I've just washed my hair so I'm feeling a little bit fresh. You know when you just feel a bit motivated once you've washed your hair? I don't know why you're so cuddly but I'm loving it. Mouth and nose. <laughs> um, we've got quite a free like morning first half of the day. It's in the afternoon that we're a bit busier. But basically, there's this new like bakery in the village near us. Um, it's called Truffles Bakery. I don't know if it's like a chain or if it's just like an independent business. So we're gonna head down there and just take a look because it'll be rude not to. Do you know what I mean? Alora, no thank you, that's daddy's. See what I mean, this vintage pile. Um, yeah, it would be rude not to check out the new bakery. <laughs> yeah, silly mummy, oh yeah, yeah, woo! So, we just got back from the bakery and I was gonna like get some little clips in there but it was so busy so I just got a bit scared. Um, but, all we got were two gingerbread men. Look at that one. <laughs> But yeah, we got two of these. What are you eating? What are you eating? Say so, gingy. Cheap. <laughs> okay, yeah. What's your favourite colour? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is... But. Purple. Is it now? Oh, and. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
Sit down. Sit down. Who's that on your socks? Who is that? Bluey. Bluey and... Bingo. Yay. Say hi, Bingo. Hi, Bingo. Say hi, Bluey. Bluey. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> What? What have we done here, Trya? Say, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Say, I am kind. That's right. Say, I am gorgeous. It's a bubble. It's a bubble. Come on then. Come on then. Happy Sunday. Um, today I am preparing a roast. I've literally just put some banana bread muffins in the oven and I'm about to start prepping my roast. These are what my banana muffins have turned out like and I don't know why they look so anemic this time. <laughs> like what? I made these little ones like for Alora, the little flower ones. But usually they're like really nice and brown but <laughs> Something's gone wrong. Something has happened. <laughs> I've seasoned my potatoes already, so they're literally all ready to go in the air fryer. I used to do them in the oven, but they obviously take so much quicker and go more crispy in the air fryer, so I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. The carrots, I might prep the carrots. I'm just gonna do honey carrots. The broccoli just cooks on the stove towards the end. Um, got cauliflower cheese to go in the oven and then the gravy obviously is last minute as well so I'm going to season the meat and I'm going to prep the carrots just so that everything is ready to go in because they're going to be here in about an hour so I want to spend as little time prepping whilst they're here as I can just so I can obviously spend some time with them so yeah let's get prepping Alora is also done for her nap now, which means that I can just prep this in peace because at the moment she is literally clinging to my feet whenever I'm in the kitchen. So, okay, so I've got some olive oil that I'm just going to put on the top. I need to refill this olive oil. Mm. Oh. Say hello. Just shaved off my mustache a bit too late. Ooh, brother, ooh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I've got some thyme oh. and rosemary. Do you say rosemary or rosemary? Rosemary. What's rosemary. That? And I'm gonna put it under this bit of string. Ready to be cooked. Oh, no. Collapsed. Oh, oh. It was the Hello, everybody. Hi. What? Look, wearing her daddy's gloves. <gasps> Should we take the gloves off? No. no. That's for safety during construction. Hello. Look, look, look at what you got. What's that? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, brother. Oh. What have you got those on for? <laughs> 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 the cooking in here. I need to check the temperature of the meat to make sure it's not overcooking. Right, so the meat is done. It doesn't look very appetizing on camera, to be honest. But I'm gonna cover it with foil until everything else is done. Keep the heat in, and then the potatoes are done. Look at those potatoes, they look so brown. <laughs> um, I also got this gravy from m that I've never tried before, so hopefully that'll be nice as well. Run the LDTT. Rah, rah. what have you got? Okay. Oh, so yeah, okay. Like what are you Hammer. doing? Okay. What are you two eating? Two two cream. Cream. Two Look, cream. she's <laughs> eating all the cream off my plate. <laughs> mm, she just called you a toucan. <laughs> bye, Uncle Jake. Jake. Bye, bye, Auntie Court. Court. Love you. Love you. Bye, bye, Rama. Bye, bye. Love you guys, girls, so. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video, doesn't it? Going. That was Sunday. Can you say shit. bye bye YouTube? Bye you shit. Can you shit? Is you that shit. Like <laughs> Can you blow a kiss? You're a good girl. Ah, uh, I love you. No, she go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can you say love you? Love you more.
Love you more. More. Love you most. No. Love you the same. Trick or die. Rara sing it. Oh, bye then.